My research paper is about my favorite topic, politics. And in this case, I'm going to talk about Venezuelan politics. It means chaps. <laughs> it's something that is relied on. I can, you know, avoid that because this is, or nowadays. And, and my paper is about how to say in office and why Chavez is a success politic. And I really um, started to write after our past elections, election in um, October the 7th, because um, I felt frustrated because we have 14 years with Chavez in power, with Chavez in office, and he is still in the government. People continue voting for him. And I really wanted to, to understand what is happening, what is wrong with my people. So. Oh, you had to. <laughs> you had to click. This is not a click. I did. Yeah, that's click. I did. I did. You had to click this. This button. This one. Ah. and I really need to focus it on a narrow one in different specific points of view. And um, I will start talking about uh, our past. I need a kind of radiography of why Venezuelans goes to Chavez in 1998. And I did it because, well, we have been four elections, four presidential elections in Venezuela from 1998 to 2012. And all of them have Overwhelming one for Chavez. Uh, he have he have obtained 56 percent, 60 percent of the vote from 1998 to now. And well, uh, we have different in percentages with his opponents, especially because uh, we, I could say, until now, until 2012, we have we had have no any very consolidated opponent that fight against him. Uh, and the opposition has lots of options that people divide, divide feelings of people and the intentions to vote. So until 2012, we just have one. Well, in 2006 we have one, but we have one candidate and others. And it divides people opinion and people voters, which is very important. Chavez came to the scene after a uh, uh, clumber. I'm not sure if this is the word, I forgot it. He, he, he had a military revolution against the president in office in 1992. A coup? Chavez. Yeah, a coup? Military a coup. coup, yeah, a military coup. coup. Yeah. Overthrow of the government. Yeah, in 1992. Uh, that was the first time he saw Chavez. And he was military, and he commanded one group in Caracas, which was no success in this moment. Every other military kept temporary control in different states, but he didn't in Caracas. But he was the person who appears in media, and he was the person who took the power, took the control, and said, OK, I am the revolution. I am trying to fight against this government that it doesn't work and people understood that he was a leader. Uh, all of this occurred when Venezuela had highest poverty levels. And, and I, I have said that it's still now, but now maybe we don't have extreme, uh, extreme poverty that we have in 1998 and before. And also corruption was played out the economic in Venezuela. And it was very important because people felt that they doesn't have how to continue living and, and how to get quality of life in our country. Well, he uh, started in power in 1998, and he has very important things that he has done from this till now to be there. He is the perfect candidate. 
And I think when when it's wrong, when it's wrong in opposition is that people who is in the other side don't you don't easily um, see what is happening, why he is success, why he is the perfect candidate. But really he is. Because first of all, um, I think it's very important the order that I put the, the stuff because this is how people perceive Chavez. First of all, he has a charismatic speech. He is a salesman. He persuades people. He, he really knows how to talk with people. And at, at the first time, he sold him like, okay, I am like you. I was poor. Mm -hmm. I come from the countryside. I am like you. And I could be success. I am president. If I could, you could. I mean, this is, this is the, the speech. And this was very success for him. And also, he has a discourse of inclusion, and he creates opportunities for the minorities, which doesn't mean that these people have merits to be in different branches. For example, uh, or one of our ministers, uh, I don't know if it's one of our secretaries of state, is it was driver of a bus, and he put him in office because. He's from minorities, and he considers that it's okay. And he doesn't have any idea about diplomatic and about treats with people. But he is in office, and he surface internationally. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing happens in different branches. Presidents of public banks, or um, maybe people which is in different important, or maybe not that important places, was, was placed because the president decided he put, for example, different um, governors or um, consuls in office because he is the big image and everything is behind him. People believe is still Chavez. Also, he broke the society into biggest sides. Um, he played kind of Robin Hood of poor people, and it was very success. And maybe if you are in the other side, you can see that. If you have a critical thinking, you can you can understand that, because you understand that that society should be different. But for people who have never have anything, it's very good, because he is yeah he has stolen things for rich people, and he has given to the poor people to the poor people, which is very good, because if you have nothing in your refrigerator 10 years ago and now you have maybe cheese, maybe bread. It's very good for you. And who gave it to you? Charles did it. Which is, which is very, very important. And I think the number is also important. We have in Venezuela uh, uh, theoretically, theoretically society should be like that. Here, um, no, it should be like that. I'm sorry. Middle class, low class, and high class. It should be like that. This is the perfect society. But in reality, we have in Venezuela something like that. Here is the low class. This is the middle class, and here are the richest. And this is very important because they are more than the rest of the classes. So, low income. It's, yeah, the low income people is, is, is larger. Maybe the extreme low income people is a little small, but they are more than the rest of the society. And well, to all of this, we need to add different uh, things like we have additives in this case. Uh, we have an uncontrolled criminal action. I mean, the last year also, one eighty-six people died due to violence in Venezuela, which is very good because if people are thinking about it, is if, if, if people cares about her safe, it doesn't care what happened in the government because you don't have time to think about it. You need to think what happened around you, and you need to protect your family, you need to protect you. Also, as I said before, 
who doesn't have a consolidated opposition oppositionary party? Don't click the middle. Click the middle again. Yeah. Don't click the middle. Um, <coughs> President, during the division of power, he uh, appeals to resentment and to bitterness between different different people. And well, it is also important people. people uh, it's important for opposition or for, for the other side of the people because. Um, one author, like the Prince, said that people had a wrong vision in, in the low income class. People had a, a wrong vision of development and progress because it's based on exclusion system. And it half the country in two tiers arise and if another is the suppliers. And this is the thing that happens in Venezuela and it works perfect because the government has money, because we have lots of petrodollars which. And uh, because we have uh, an oil country, and this it has our economy in a very high position, which doesn't mean that people have the same privilege. Well, at the end, my conclusion is: even if we know that Chavez is the perfect candidate, we need to put in the shoes. In, we, we need to put our feet in the shoes, like low-income people and try to get another perspective of what is happening to really find against him. The next candidate need to prepare, need to believe in what people need and must be a guy that comes from maybe the middle class but need to really understand what is happening in the low class in Venezuela because they are the majority and we need to understand them and we need to try to get what you want.